Hey guys, it's uh, Hobbit Assassin 08 here, or Hobbs, with another video. This time it's a review of the Griffin iMic for the, uh, well, any computer, honestly, but it's marketed for the uh, MacBooks. Um, now, right off the bat, uh, to those of you who are watching this that don't understand why you may need this, on the version of MacBook, which I have, the newest one, the 210 version, if you have the 13-inch version, the audio and the microphone in port are the exact same thing to make room for the SD card slot. So that's problematic for people like me and other people who do, um, you know, at home recording where they need to hear the music while they're recording uh, their vocals, uh, such as, well, pretty much anything. Uh, so that's why uh, this is uh, necessary. And it also just uh, can increase your quality a lot of times. But right off the bat, I mean, it's a really small, um, really lightweight object. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you, it feels pretty cheap. But I was actually pretty impressed with the um, ease of use and the quality. Um, it's got a uh, Type A USB. Uh, and then I felt, uh, I felt like the cord was a little bit long. It's 18 inches. But, you know some people that may be good uh... it's made by griffin like i said uh... and the only switch on it the entire thing is right here on the side and what this is it's a line and a mic switch and so here you have your in and your out which um, this takes standard one eighth inch or three point five millimeter jacks just like any old headphone and uh... just plugs right in there you can have both of them at the same time that's actually what it's meant to do but it uh the only reason that it has a switch is it has a switch between the line and the mic like i said and what that's for is if uh say you have uh, some old vinyls or records or whatever you want to call them and you want to transfer them into um, a digital format or, so that you can you know listen to your oldies but goodies or whatever uh, if you have a certain type of uh turntable I guess I the name escapes me I apologize but they have the RGB cables that come out and uh, basically what you do is you get an adapter uh, this type actually this is actually extremely long though like this you plug these in you plug this into your uh, your in and you switch to line and what that does is it allows you to uh, record those digital audio um, those vinyls into a digital format, uh, which personally I don't have any use for, but I know a lot of people out there do stuff like that, so uh, it's nice to have. Uh, now, what you do, the, using this is extremely easy. I was very impressed. And literally all you have to do is, let me bring my MacBook over here. Literally all you do, that's it. You plug it in. And uh, you plug your audio sources in, and then on your MacBook, a little window pops up, and you just click OK. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like now, so you can uh, check it out yourself. So, we'll be right back. Alright, so um, now that we're back, I'm not exactly sure how the quality of this audio is going to turn out. This is the first time that I have uh, tried to use the screen capture um, function. So, uh... I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens. Right now I'm using the MacBook's um, onboard microphone. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens whenever I plug in the, uh, the iMic. Um, let's go ahead and open up GarageBand. Just, uh, this is where, uh, anyway, I'm sorry, I got lost for a second. But, uh, Yes, in GarageBand, this is where you'll most likely be using it, and if you're not, um, I'll show you how to set that up, but let's see here, let's start a new project, alright, okay, so now we have uh, GarageBand open, and uh, as you can see up here, this is my audio as I'm uh, recording and right now if you go up to uh, GarageBand uh, preferences and then audio and MIDI it'll show you 
that you're using the built-in output and you're using the built-in input alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna plug in the iMic so I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen with the audio it may uh, get better it may get worse um, but I'll, I'll try to do the best I can uh, but this is what happens when you plug in the iMic right now so as you could see there um, sorry I, I muted me for a second but whenever I uh, pulled up the uh, plugged it in it pulls up a little box that asks you do you want to use the um, iMic as your device and so if you decide you uh, don't want to you can go back into preferences uh, see now you can, it sees that it's using the iMic USB audio system instead of the built-in output and I mean you can switch that around if you want see it'll ask you if you want to change the driver I don't really want to but um, then if you want this just for um, I don't know your speakers or other things I'll go ahead and show you how to do that once you have it plugged in all you need to do is click on your system preferences which can be found in your applications pull it up and then it's gonna ask you, you go to sound and then right here you've got output and input all you gotta do is just double click on the one you want right now it's selected the iMic USB audio system switch to output same thing and it's that easy really um, and then like right down here you can still have your sound output um, use your audio port for sound output which basically uh, if the person running the uh, MacBook or whatever your computer you're on wants to listen to uh, your vocals um, or whatever you can both listen to it uh, so it's very nice um, I enjoy it and the reason the quality may not be very great is not because of the iMic but I'm using an extremely cheap uh, computer microphone instead of uh, you know using uh, my whole little recording setup but basically um, this product I, I recommend it it retails for about I believe it was 26 to 28. Um, you can get it on the Apple website or Griffin's website. And um, yeah, overall, I've really enjoyed it. But keep in mind, this will not be a um, the same quality as a FireWire uh, hookup or interface. Um, this is just uh, a USB, and it's mostly for those 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro users. But uh, thank you for your time. I, I really recommend this product, and have a nice day. Uh, this has been Hobbit Assassin 08. Peace.